everyone, my name is Sandra and today we're going to discuss what to bring here in KSA once you got accepted as a cabin crew. supported my first two videos I received a lot of positive feedback from you guys and again I really appreciate it I received all of your messages I've been reading them thank you so much don't worry um, I, I of course uh, also I would like to apologize for not uploading a video right away because what happened was I actually got positive for COVID last January after um, our flight to Cairo so luckily I was one of the crew who was chosen to be part of the very first um, flight to Cairo um, I actually did the video for uh, that flight okay so um, today is actually the first flight uh, fly a deal to Cairo and I'm very lucky to be one of the cabin crews to be included for today's uh, flight and I'm very excited um, preparations that I did of course the grooming uh, they sent us the email reminders about what is new what will happen to this flight because this is a uh, different and uh, brand new destination for fly a deal so Wish us luck. However, uh, I got positive after that flight. So, ayun, so I took a lot of rest and now I'm back. So, today, let's start. So, this is applicable to any airlines, but uh, some of the things that will be mentioned are specifically for our airline. So, first, let's discuss uh, the luggage. So, you will be given um, two luggage allowance of uh, 23 kilograms each and one hand carry for uh, 7 kilograms. Now, what I suggest, if bibili kayo ng luggage, wag yung exact. So, normally, sa, sa department stores, they will suggest for you to get a medium-sized luggage kasi sabi nila, this fits 23 kilograms. But I suggest you get the large one so that you'll have the allowance for your things. Um, kasi yun yung naging pagkakamali ko with one of my luggages. So I chose the medium-sized bag. However, when I was trying to fit my things, I know, I know for a fact that it will it, it is 23 kilograms or less than. However, since the bag is a medium-sized bag and it doesn't have any allowance, I wasn't able to maximize the 23 kilograms allowance. So I suggest you get the large one and make sure that uh, even though it's a large size uh, luggage, make sure that it only has 23 kilograms or less. Okay? So now, uh, the next thing that you should prepare is your jeans or your pants, maong pants. So, uh, blue, preferably blue or black. This will be used during your training. And also, uh, it should be partnered with a, a white ball. Uh, meaning, white long sleeves. And um, prepare also the inner shirt, um, either a t-shirt or a sandal as long as it's white. And then also white socks and white shoes. 
Next is, uh, we all know that this is Saudi Arabia and uh, this is a conservative country. So make sure to bring your abaya. For us, um, I remember we ordering abaya sa Shopee or sa Lazada. Or you can also check sa Kiapo. Ayan, madaming abaya dyan. So make sure to bring your abaya and I suggest uh, to lessen the luggage, your yung mga dalahin ninyo. Don't bring those uh, clothes na medyo, alam natin hindi naman natin siya magagamit dito, like yung mga revealing clothes. So, um, kasi sayang, sayang sa space. So, much better to just allocate the space sa mga bagay na magagamit mo talaga na damit dito sa Saudi Arabia. Next is, you need to repair a rash guard. Rash guard meaning uh, the clothing used for swimming should be black, should be long sleeves, as well as the pants should be uh, black. Now, you're going to use this for your ditching training. Prepare a black or gray belt for your loose pants. Since we're going to talk about the necessities. Now, for my list, uh, this depends if you also have the same list or you have additional necessities. But for me, uh, I brought shampoo, conditioner, uh, lotion, soap, your uh, sanitary napkins, uh, alcohol, toothpaste, facial cleanser, uh, mouthwash, your toner, and then your makeup remover, very important. Um, moisturizer, this is very important since we have uh, dry weather here in Saudi Arabia. And then of course, uh, your DO, your feminine wash, uh, cotton balls, and your wet wipes. Now, this is very important. I, I suggest you bring something that is good for two months so that um, you don't have to use if ever. Uh, though, we have supermarkets here, we have groceries here, um, but I suggest for you to bring first uh, yung okay nat na for two months. Para lang hindi kayo masyon. Next is, it's very important, of course, for you to bring your makeup. Now, there are some products that are not available here in Saudi Arabia. Uh, as for me, I'm also using local products like yung Colorit, yun. So, of course, these are not available dito. So, so, I suggest you bring your makeups. Be prepared as you're going to use your makeup every day. All, yeah, almost every day except you're off, of course. But during training, uh, during your duties, you need to wear your makeup. Next is your nail polish. So you are, we are required to wear a nail polish. So nude colors, of course. Um, during training, this will be checked during your uh, grooming check. They will check if you have. Um, Good nail polish, makeup, and your hair, etc. So be sure to bring your own nail polish. And keep in mind, the gel nail polish mm. is not allowed. Now, let's proceed with the things we need for our hair. So, if you have long hair like me, um, we are required to do our hair buns. So, we need some hair pins, hair ties, hair net. Hairspray and if you're using gel, you can also bring your gel. Now, if you are short-haired, um, as long as your hair doesn't touch your shoulders, it's fine. You don't need to do anything as long as it's neat. It's not uh, covering your uh, face. Yeah, that's valid. Next is your cutlery. So, um, if you're someone that is kind of uh, sensitive like me. I want my own uh, glass so I brought with me my own tumbler and then I also brought with me my own spoon and fork. Now technically once you come here in Saudi Arabia you will be staying in a hotel where, where they have their own cutleries but of course um, once you're done staying in the hotel you will be transferred to a compound. Now, you need your own cutleries, you know, you need your own spoon and fork, your own glass. So, I suggest you bring your own for hygienic purposes. 
I suggest you also bring your own bath towel, your own face towels um, for you to use even when you're staying in the hotel uh, since this is going to be useful once you're in your own base. And also I suggest you bring your own um, comforter, your own blanket, your own bed sheet. Now, you might not be able to use this in the hotel since you have your regular housekeeping to uh, keep it clean. But once you're in your uh, base, your own base, now it's your responsibility to make your room clean. So much better if you have your own um, comforter, your own blanket, your own bed sheets ready. Next is your own laundry bag. Now, actually, this is something that I didn't have with me, uh, but I wished I did. So, kinalangan ko pang bumili dito. So, I suggest you bring your own laundry bag for you to put your dirty clothes in uh, much better so that it will be a uh, neat looking in your room. Next is your own lunchbox. So, during training, much better if you will bring your own food. You uh, eat also during duty. This is very important, which is yung extension uh, and yung adapter. So for the adapter, they are using the UK pin, um, three pin. I'll show you a picture of it. And then also for the extension, this is very important, especially sa hotel rooms. Kasi uh, li uh, they have limited um, sockets. So much better if you have your extensions, especially kapag madami kayong gadgets for you to charge. Ayun, so. Next is your basic medicines. Medicines such as uh, medicine for headache, for runny nose, for cough, um, Vicks. Yan. Those medicines are very important, especially kapag uh, you're studying for training and then suddenly you got a headache. So much better if you have your own medicine ready. And also, I suggest you bring your own um, for hot compress, so such as like this. And uh, by the way, this is my basic medicine kit. So I suggest you also bring something for cold. And ito, yung uh, medicines for, for example, for diarrhea. Yan. Something that is really needed. Especially, pagdating yun dito, your stomach is new to the food. So, kailangan yun talaga ng something for diarrhea in case. Just in case. Next is your messenger bag. Now, messenger bag, uh, we only use this during training. Now, this is what it looks like. For me, this is the one I, that I used during training. Ayan. I bought this uh, Shopee. Uh, I can put the link down below. Um, you don't need an expensive bag, I suggest. Kasi nga, gagamitin nyo lang to during training. After training, you won't use it. So I suggest, just use it. Uh, just buy something cheap that's good for a month. Now, for your messenger bag, your manual should fit in. Keep in mind, manual is thick. Okay. And then your uh, like your basic food, basic makeup for the day should fit in. So that's all. Now let's go to the accessories. Now you must bring your own uh, pearl earrings and then your own wristwatch. Now example is this. This is what I'm using. And you're not allowed to wear smartwatch during your duty and also during training. Uh, the reason why, you will know it during your training. Next, I suggest you bring your own sunglasses to protect your eyes from the sun, of course. And uh, trainings are usually held during mornings. So, it's really recommendable for you to bring your own sunglasses. Next, you also need to prepare your own flashlight. Now, you don't need to bring the big ones. It should only be the small ones. Yeah. Why this is a requirement during your duty? Now, the reason why you need it, you'll know it during your training. Next, of course, you need to bring your own perfume. 
uh, uh, we want to be presentable, we want to be good looking. So, syempre, dapat mabango din tayo. So, I suggest you bring your own perfume. We are not allowed to write anything or to highlight anything to our manual because this is considered as a legal document. So, I suggest you really need to bring your own notebooks and your own pen. And lastly, very, 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 very important is your own food. Of course, food that doesn't get spoiled uh, in time, which are yung mga chips, chocolate, something that can uh, ease your boredom or if, if chocolates helps you whenever you review. Ayan, so, mga ganong pagkain. Now, I suggest, ako ang ginala ko nun yung mga canned goods uh, because I'm afraid to get hungry. <laughs> so, para kapag uh, suddenly magutom ako sa gabi, yun, yung mga midnight snacks. So, yun, bring the food that you need, food that you want. Thank you so much for watching my vlog today. I appreciate your time and your effort in watching my vlogs. And I hope that this video will help you decide on what to bring once you got accepted here in Saudi Arabia. And don't forget to comment down below for any suggestions, any questions. Uh, follow me on my social media accounts. And please like, subscribe, and share this video to your friends. And I hope to see you soon. Fly with you soon. Bye!